Hey, welcome in to our video here for our micro learning series. Uh, we're joined today by a couple of special guests with Adam and Michael from Edge Hill State School. Hi. And we have got for you four awesome tips uh, today around getting started with uh, drones, but more about sort of digital technologies uh, into the curriculum. Uh, we're going to throw over to Adam first for his tip uh, around equipment. Okay, so equipment is a big one because that's where the expense is and you know, obviously your principal is going to want to know, well, where is, where is the money going? So um, to be prepared for it, you need to know if it's going to work with your, uh, your IT system, so things like around the Wi-Fi. Uh, you need to know who's going to be responsible for managing it. You need to keep track and um, allow for uh, um, you know, replacement of um, materials and maintenance, that type of thing, if things become damaged. If you're talking about drones in particular, you also need to make sure you've got um, the things that you, you need for operating the drone safely and um, storing batteries and those sorts of things. So equipment is a big deal and it is a, it is a big time killer. It will take time uh, to get it Indeed. right. But if you do get it right, it'll actually allow you to, um, and the teachers, to deliver the lessons effectively and they're not running around doing, uh, trying to solve um, you know, silly problems. Everything will run smoothly. Awesome, thanks Adam. And we've got uh, two tips from Michael around teachers and students. Okay, teachers first. Um, have fun with the curriculum. Um, try, and, try and maybe build your week around the, the technologies curriculum because it's such an engaging and exciting type of um, environment for kids to be working in. So uh, yeah, don't be scared to bring technologies to the front of uh, what you're doing in your classroom and then maybe link other subject areas to it. Um, and as far as kids go, um, allow the kids to be engaged and have fun and to develop their confidence. So just giving them activities where they can actually get in and, and build and manipulate, make mistakes, talk about their failures. Um, I mean, it's a bit of a wholesale change from what's been happening in education over the last few years. So um, I'm, I suppose my message back to teachers again is don't be, don't be afraid to change your way of thinking and have a look at where kids are going to be in 10 years time. What's the jobs they're going to be working in? What types of skills do they need? Um, definitely the technologies, subject areas are going to be helping those kids a great deal and being prepared for life outside of school. Thank you. And, and the yep. tip from me that I've picked up uh, from Michael and Adam today is that implementing the digital technologies into your schools, it tends to be a bit of a junkyard of, a, of equipment oh, yes. at times. Coming and falls. Yeah. So, you know, how do we start to avoid some of that? I think that coming back and actually really understanding the curriculum first, and where do you want to place this into, into your curriculum? And how are you going to do that, having a real understanding first before you go out and buy that equipment? And learning from other people that have done this before you, because it does, like Adam said, it becomes an expensive exercise with all of that Very equipment. Expensive. And many schools haven't got the budget uh, for, for a lot of this stuff. So you, when you do it, you've actually got to get it, get it right. So being able to implement things with your equipment from the start that has been looked after, but also that you know how you're going to use it uh, as a teacher for the best benefit of your students so you don't end up with, uh, with that junkyard. Yeah. Um, They'll be enticed by those glo glossy catalogues that have STEM written across the top because they're usually highly inflated prices because they're new, new and pretty and shiny, but possibly or probably not the right, not the right um, item for the mm. for what you need. And there's and there are so many resources that we've spoken about uh, that are out there for teachers to go and learn uh, first off to get a real understanding of of where they want to go. Uh, so explore those resources. Uh, we'll put up a few more of those resources. Uh, below this post so that uh, you can go off and find them. Uh, but look, thanks very much for joining us on this special video. Uh, watch out, we've got a, a, another interview coming up with these two that will really help to take your learning and the digital technologies to the next level. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks.